All right, here's Fizzy. So we're currently looking at a board. And boards are sort of where everything happens in Fizzy. A board has cards and columns, not unlike traditional Kanban systems, but that's sort of where the similarities break. So in Fizzy, every board by default gets three columns. So when you make a new board, you're gonna get these three columns. The big one down the middle is called maybe. On the left, we have not now, and on the right, we have done. All new cards get added to maybe first. You can see this column has these cards in it. And when you wanna move a card, you can just click the card and drop it on another column. Okay, so this now says one because I put one in there. Now this center column is called maybe for a reason. It's there to signal the fact that everything in this column is undecided. You just added stuff here, but you don't know if you're gonna do it or not yet. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not now, maybe yes. There's tension here, you're on the fence. This is a good thing to know because everything in here has to be dealt with at some point. So that's why we call it maybe. Not now is pretty self-explanatory. It's like, yeah, we're not gonna do this right now. Let's just move this over here. And then done, of course, is when something is done. Now this is a very simple board. There's just three columns. Not that interesting, but this is where you start. And you can go pretty far with this kind of setup. But let me show you some other boards that we have in our own account to give you a sense of how you can use Fizzy. Now, how do I get there? Well, we have a single menu at the top of the screen called the Fizzy menu. And you hit that and you can get anywhere from the Fizzy menu. So you can get in your boards, your tags, your people, your settings, everything. And actually the best way to use this is to use it with the keyboard. So I'm just gonna click away and hit J. J will open up the Fizzy menu and I can quickly jump to another board. So I'm gonna jump to a board called Fizzy Issues. Now this is a good example. This is actually from our own account. This is a board that we're using to track all the bugs and issues in Fizzy as we're building Fizzy itself. Um, so this is our Fizzy Issues board. And we have the Maybe column, the Not Now column, the Done column, plus four additional columns. And adding a column is as simple as clicking the plus here, naming it, and giving it a color. So we've done that here. We have these other columns called Investigating, In Progress, On Hold, and QA to Confirm Fixed. And um, to open a column, you just click on the column, and it bounces open really nice, really fast. Speed is at the center of Fizzy all over the place. To close a column, you click it again. Or you open a different column and it will swap that column. So it'll close the previous one and open this other one. The idea here being that only two columns can ever be open at once on Fizzy. Maybe is always open and then one additional column. This way you're not staring at a bunch of other stuff that you don't actually need to see. Most traditional Kanban systems have everything open all the time and it can be quite overwhelming. So by default, again, everything is closed, maybe is open. Now, let's say I'm in, in progress and I just wanna look at these eight cards. Um, I can just hit this zoom thing and it's gonna zoom me right into this grid view where I can just look at those eight cards so they don't have to look at anything else whatsoever. Hitting escape will take me right back to the Fizzy Issues board. All right, so the other thing we have here is you'll notice that we have these two cards which happen to be golden. What's that about, right? The other ones are white, these are golden. Now, of course, by the way, I should mention in any column, the cards adopt the color of the column itself. So here we are, pink, pink cards. And you'll also see there's a golden card up here too. So what are these about? Well, in Fizzy, you don't order the cards in a column. Fizzy does that for you based on activity. So the more, the cards that get the most activity, new comments, tags, added, that kind of stuff, they bubble up to the top. The ones that don't get as much attention go down to the bottom. Okay, but if there's a card that's urgent, particularly interesting, something you wanna do next, whatever it might be, you can turn it into a golden ticket, golden card. And to do that, you just click on the card itself and you turn this on. In this case, this one is on. Golden tickets always float to the top no matter what column they're in. So this is a way of establishing some degree of priority or next, depending on how you use it. And they're also gonna be represented golden in any notifications, and I'll explain this later, or pin cards, and I'll explain that later as well. But that's how you can move something to the top and have it stick to the top if you want. You'll also notice in this section, you can see who's watching for new cards. So these people are watching for new cards in our account, meaning every time a new card is added, they're gonna get a notification to find out about that. Um, now, another thing I wanna show you here is this little tiny bubble. Um, what is that about? Well, if you open this column, you're gonna see that this card has a bubble on it. And I, in fact, I think there's a few other cards with bubbles on it. There's even a bubble down here. What does that mean? Well, 
This is partially where the name Fizzy came from. So things will bubble up and attach to cards that haven't been dealt with for a while. So in this example, we have a card that says stalled for 10 days. What does that mean? Well, there was activity. Let's go, in fact, click on this card. And there was activity. There were people talking about it. There was discussion. And then all of a sudden, it's been silent for 10 days. What's up with that? Well, I don't know what's up with that, but the system tells me that there's something going on here that's a bit unusual. Activity, now no activity. So it affixes a bubble to that card. Now, this is particularly important because in Fizzy, cards are not allowed to stick around forever, okay? They can stay around for a while, but they're always gonna fall back into not now after a certain period of time if you don't do anything with them, which is different than most systems. Most systems just let you pile stuff into them eternally and you get these super long lists and they're always out of date and they're collecting dust and long lists only get longer and longer and longer. So in Fizzy, things are not allowed to stick around forever. Let me show you how that works. If you go up to the settings uh, dial here or gear, I should say, you're going to see there's an auto close dial. All right. So it says Fizzy does not let stale cards stick around forever. Cards automatically move to not now if no one updates comments or moves a card for, in this case, 30 days. So you can mark it 3, 7, 30, 90, 3, 65, or you can turn the dial up to 11 if you want. So there's a global setting for this as well, and then each board can have its own override to that. We have this currently set at 30 days. And that's important because after 30 days, if you don't move a card to done, or if there is an activity, Every time there's activity, it resets the counter, by the way. But if nothing happens for 30 days in a card, it automatically gets moved to not now. And if you open up the not now column, you'll see that I'll scroll down here. There's some stamps, not now, not now, not now by system, meaning that these cards sat around for a while. No one touched them. No one did anything about them. So they automatically got moved to not now. You'll also see here really quickly that uh, the length of the color tab here indicates you know, in a relative way, how many cards are in this column. These two have eight, so they're equal length. This one's two, this one's three, 99 and 99. This is sort of the max length you can get. And if you're off the screen and you try to scroll or try to drag a card, I should say, you're going to see at the top of the screen, first of all, it colors up and then you also get the name of the column. So you'll always be able to see that. And not only can you do it that way, but of course, if you click on a uh, card, you can just set the column over here by clicking on one of these in the colors highlight as well. All right, I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to go right back. Okay, um, one other thing I want to show you about this really quickly here too on this screen here is you can also make a board public. So if you're working with a client or, I mean, you can always invite them as well, but maybe the public wants to see your roadmap or your bug list or suggestions or what you're working on, all you have to do is toggle this on. You're going to get a public URL and you can share that out with anybody. It's read only. People can see the board. They can see the columns. They can see the cards. They can't do anything, but they can see all that stuff. So that's how you would do that. All right. And hit escape again to go back. Um, so there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts here in Fizzy, and I'll walk through some of those in a minute. Typically, you'll see a little keycap here um, next to a command. So search the Fizzy menu, etc. Okay. Um, before I move on to notifications, which is the next thing I want to show you, I want to take you quickly through sort of the anatomy of a card. Um, let's see. Uh, basically, every card has an ID in the top left, the name of the board that it's on, and if there's any attachments, you'll have a little paper clip here, the name of the card itself, um, and the person who added it is going to show up on the left-hand side, and the person it's assigned to, if it's assigned to anybody, is going to show up on the right-hand side, which is really handy because you can scroll through cards and say, oh, this one's unassigned, these are unassigned, this one is assigned, unassigned. You can identify that simply just by looking down and seeing if there's a picture of a person on the right or not. Cards can also be assigned to multiple people at once. You'll see here's a good example of that. Okay, so let's talk about the corners of the screen. These are fundamental and very important in Fizzy. So in the bottom right corner, you have your notifications. And on the, in the bottom left corner, you have your pinned card stack. Let me show you how, how this works. Okay. So uh, if I want to see my notifications, again, notifications are anytime a card has been added to a board, if I'm signed up for it, or if I'm part of a conversation, there's a new comment, or I've been at mentioned somewhere, or I've been assigned, I'm going to get a notification. And these just add up and pile up here in the bottom right corner of the screen. Clicking on them 
fans them open so I can see what they all are. And I can click away and they're gonna fan down. I can also hit N on the keyboard to open them up really quick and N on the keyboard to close them. So no matter where I am, if I'm looking at something and I just wanna see my notifications really quick, I just hit N, fan those open, and close them down again. Each notification has a color which pertains to the column that it's in, also tells you which collection it's in, who it's from, etc. cetera. Um, really handy and really nice. You can actually, as you get to use this system, you can really peek behind these cards and read a lot of information without having a lot of information visible to you. And as you use it, you get a feel for the colors and how things are set up. So you can learn a lot by just taking a quick glance in the bottom right corner. On the left-hand side, we have pinned cards. So if I'm looking at a card, let's just say this one, I wanna keep this one around for whatever reason. I just hit pin, it now pops to the bottom left corner and it's always gonna be there for me. So no matter where I am in the system, no matter what board I'm on, no matter where I am, I can always just open my pin stack and jump right back to that card. I can unpin it as well, and that updates in real time. What's cool about this too is because cards that are done have a black tab, um, I can add cards that I wanna watch to my pin card stack, and then they're gonna change color in real time when someone completes them. So what I can tell you, I, when I added this particular card or pin this card, it was not black, it was not done, it was actually orange, so it was in progress. And so now I know, oh, wow, something I was watching has been completed, which is really quite cool. You can just see that with a little tiny color tab there. All right, um, let me take you back through the uh, fizzy menu really quick here. And um, one of the things I wanna show you here are, are th is the ability to jump to a person. So I can go to like, let's say, um, I don't know, Andy, right? And I can click him and I go to Andy's profile page. And on Andy's profile page, I can do a few things. I can see which cards are assigned to Andy really quickly. I get a nice grid of all the cards assigned to Andy. I can also see cards that were added by Andy as well. Um, and I can also scroll down and see all of Andy's activity. So there's always three columns in these activity views. You've got added today, updated today, and you've also got done today. So I can scroll through and just see what happened, what, you know, things that Andy were involved with or was involved with. Now, What's up with these big gaps? Well, these gaps are gaps in time. So this activity timeline actually shows you empty spaces during the day. So at the top, top is most recent. So I can see down below here that earlier in the day, Andy added a couple items and also added one a bit earlier, but there's a nice gap between here, about an hour, well, 45 minutes gap. So I can see there's space here. These happen more back to back to back. The other thing that's really cool is if you highlight and hover over any item in the activity, any other visible item that is the same item will also highlight. You can see that he added here, then there was four updates back to back to back on the same exact card called Improve Card Title Line Height on the Perma. So that's kind of a nice way to, to notice. So I can just kind of move through here and go, these were independent. This one had some updates down below. This one had some updates and was recently added. So it's kind of a nice way to identify those. Um, again, I'm gonna hit J. I can go somewhere else, I can go to settings, I can go to boards, I can jump to see all, all the uh, issues, tag design, that sort of thing as well. Um, let me take you back to the issues board really quick here and show you, you'll see by the way, I'm getting around really quickly. Once you get used to the keyboard here, you're moving around really, really fast and fizzy loads very, very quickly as well. Um, so not only can you search, and I'll take you through this in a second, but you can quickly filter cards on a specific board. So if I'm looking for the word scroll, I can just type scroll and it's gonna show me all the cards really quickly that have the word scroll in them in the title or in the description. So that's a really handy thing. You can also break open this filter button here and run all sorts of filters, tags, status, etc. cetera. Um, by the way, speaking of golden cards, another little cool shortcut is if you just go J and type golden and hit return, you're gonna see all the golden cards across your entire account on a single screen. So that's what we call a shortcut. Just a nice way to do that. Uh, let me go back to, to where we were here. All right, now besides these live filters, you can also search the entire account. So to do that, you just hit K or you go down here with your mouse and hit K. When you do that, the stacks move away and you have a clean bar here. And I'll search for the word scroll again and I'll hit return and it's gonna give me some search results. Every time the word scroll shows up, it's gonna be circled. Of course, you can just click on something and go right to that board. All right.
Um, let's see. One other thing I'll show you here is uh, activity in home, and I think that'll be a pretty good look at Fizzy. So we've been looking at boards, we've been looking at cards, we've been looking at columns, we've looked at notifications, and we've also looked at uh, pinned cards, people as well. Um, but you can also go back home, and home just is a one, or go up here, but I like to hit one. And this is sort of your activity screen globally across your whole account. Now I've just been doing a bunch of stuff, so there's a bunch of extra activity in here. But it's a similar design. What's been added today, what's been updated today, and what's done today. And you can scroll back through time and check these things out. And keep in mind that these colors also, again, pertain to the columns that the cards are in. So whenever I see something that's sort of gray, I know it's been done. Whenever I see something here, I know it's in progress because we're using this color for in progress, etc. Um, and of course, every team can use different colors for different columns. So if I go to like the mobile on call board, oops, I want to go to this one here. Um, you'll see they have a bunch of different columns, figuring it out, waiting for feedback, in progress, ready for a PR review, et cetera. And they use different colors. And when you establish um, a column, you can pick the color. And as you, of course, get to know a particular board or work in a particular way, you'll begin to internalize these colors. So when you see a pink card for mobile on call, you'll know that means pending release. It's just something you get used to as you go. Um, I think that's probably a good overview of Fizzy. So again, it's like Kanban with a few really nice twists. It's colorful, it's vibrant, it's very, very fast, it's very straightforward, it's very direct. It just has what you need, nothing that you don't. It's a great way to get around. It's also really, really fast as you get into it. Um, oh, actually, I should show you one more thing. Um, let's go to uh, Rework Podcast as a board example here. So if you click this little globe in the top left corner, you can set up webhooks. Now, webhooks are handy if you use something like Campfire or Slack or another system that can accept a payload, basically, and publish data from Fizzy into another tool. So you can add these triggers. You can say, like, whenever a card has been assigned to somebody or a card is added, you know, send this data to another system. And so we have that all set up here as well. And you can access that on a board level um, by um, just hitting the little globe in the top left corner. Cool. So, hey, that's Fizzy. Um, I really hope you check it out. I hope you play with it. It's a great way to get to know something is just to play with it. It's free to sign up. There's no obligation. So just dive in. It's at fizzy.do. And we hope you find it really, really useful. Let us know what you think. Thanks again for watching.